Hello and welcome to this introduction tutorial to Anaconda. Anaconda is a Python distribution platform which helps you to manage your environments and the Python packages for your Python projects. You can get it by heading over to anaconda.com and then download it for your system. After you successfully downloaded and installed Anaconda, you will find the Anaconda Navigator as well as the Anaconda Prompt in your starting menu. When we now start up the Navigator, you will see that Anaconda also enables you to install further applications. Personally, I use Spider as the IDE for most of my Python projects. On the left hand side, you can also see the Environments tab. When you first install Anaconda, you will only have the base environment and for every project that you're working on, you can basically create a new environment and install the Python packages that you use for this project. That way you don't have conflicts between installations of, for example, different Python package versions among your projects. To create an environment, you just click on create, you type in a name and you can also choose the Python version you want to work with, depending on what Python packages you may use. I'm just going to go with the default one and create the environment. Now Anaconda creates it and also downloads and installs the first basic packages which you can already see here so there are 11 packages which basically come with your standard um, environment one of them is python itself the other one is uh, for example pip which is also a python package index system you can then switch to all packages and then search for a package you may want to use. For example, I want to install pandas um, in this environment. So I just check the box next to it and then on the bottom right side, apply. Now, Anaconda also asks me to install all the dependencies of the package I want to install and I'm just going to apply those changes as well. Now Anaconda downloads and installs all packages that I need to work with pandas and also, of course, pandas itself. If I now go back to my installed section, you can see that on top of the 11 packages that were uh, previously installed in the environment, I have further packages. One of them is pandas and the other ones are dependencies for pandas. Next to the navigator, you can also use the Anaconda prompt to manage your environments. Here you can type conda env list and you get the same list of environments like here in the navigator. To create an environment, you can type conda create dash dash name tutorial. Two. But tutorial 2 of course is the name of my environment. You hit enter and now the prompt asks you if you want to create the environment in your basically default um, location. I type yes and now the environment is created. I can check again by listing the environments here. So we have tutorial and tutorial 2. And once the navigator updates, you also can find the tutorial 2 uh, environment in the Anaconda navigator. We can use the prompt to change environments by using activate and then the name of the environment. Over here in the navigator, we're also going to select tutorial 2. And here we see that in the environment we created in the Anaconda prompt, there are no predefined packages installed. So depending on your use case, maybe the one or the other approach is more suitable. Um, you can decide whatever 
suits your needs. So we're now going to go back to the tutorial environment and head over to the home tab again. And yes, you can see um, Spider is not yet installed in this environment, but we want to use it for our Python programming. So we're going to hit install and Anaconda immediately starts downloading and installing Spider specifically for this environment. This whole process takes a while, so I'm going to wrap up this tutorial video at this point. If you ran into any issues so far, leave a comment below. Also, if you have any remarks on what I showed you so far, you're welcome to also leave a comment below this video. Stay curious, be kind, and we'll meet again for another video. Bye.